Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, Queen Asia, where women 40 and over learn how to transform through fitness and travel so that they can age like the queen they are. Tonight's episode is about fitness, episode number five. The last episode, number four, was about diet, and the next episode, six, will be about illness, injury, menopause, and surgeries. So please like and subscribe and get the notifications to this channel. And check out the description box. There are some valuable resources. For example, if you also want to learn how to crochet. Yes, a little <laughs> cigar box purse. Mm. Thanks to Big Girl Needle on Ravelry who gifted me this lovely yarn. Um, there is a seven-week virtual crochet free class going on. Just check out the description box. So, tonight, let's get into fitness. So, I'm going to try my best to give you just a little uh, snapshot of 10 years of what I've been doing for fitness. So, I get asked this question all of the time. Why did I start fitness? Um, here it goes, and I hope I don't cry. So, I, I won't cry. Mm -mm. I am strong. I started fitness because I was broke and broken. All I could afford to do was go to church to hear the word on Sundays. That kept me going. Um... All I could afford to do was go to the library to get some books to learn how to read about financial literacy to get me to stop being broke and my $20 gym membership. And so fitness became my refuge. Fitness became my therapy. It actually became my creative um, outlet. And I actually read... Mm, Pray that your loneliness may spur you into finding something to live for and great enough to die for. So, if I die on this treadmill, so be it. Because guess what? We are all going to die one day. And I've actually been to the gym where someone did die while they were on the treadmill. Um, I started my fitness journey in 2012 that would be 10 years ago and um one of the trainers gave me a workout and i was doing it for two years and it was good and all and um but i was getting kind of bored and what i learned about myself is um fitness for me has to be fun and sexy if it's fun and sexy, I'm going to do it because that is what works for me. And I also read this book called The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron that will also be linked in the description box as well. And with this book, you have to go on 12 dates but the key is you have to go by yourself. And I guess that's another reason why I like working out by myself, with myself. Because guess what? If you can't enjoy your own company, then you shouldn't expect others to enjoy your company. And while doing this 12-week uh, artist date dating myself, I discovered... I fell in love with fitness in 2014. Yes, the journey started in 2012, but it, it really all went down in 2014. And if you can go to some meetups, get some Groupons if your budget can't afford it, get some day passes to some upscale gyms and just... um. 
explore and see what you like. And I took a picture and it's six activities. Well, really five activities of me doing walking, hiking, kickboxing, line dancing. And two of the activities are repeated twice. And that would be pole. So pole, it is. Pole fitness. That is my thing. I could do that forever. So let me go to my notes. If you want to learn how to get fitness as a habit for you, um, here are some tips. Number one, I wrote them down. Get up earlier, like about 30 minutes to an hour. Give it about six weeks um, so that it can become a habit. Find your niche by doing meetups and Groupons. Um, hire a trainer if you can. And if you can, get a Groupon and get a, a workout regimen that you make a copy of and write it down in your journal. Um, become a groupie. Um, I went to PRX in Dykeman Heights at the time back in 2015. And... I would drive 90 minutes to this abs and ass class on Thursday nights. And it felt like I was in a club. It did not feel like I was working out. The water was my vodka. The music was the club. And it was just on and popping. You cannot tell me I was not in the club. Um, don't overdo it. Make sure you take some rest breaks get techie, get use social media. You can go on Instagram, you can go on YouTube like you're on right now, Facebook, and just try out all different types of fitness and see what you like. I also love step class too as well. Um, make it a ritual. For example, every Labor Day weekend, I try my best to do birth wine because they have a flag class and I love that routine. I've been doing birth wine, that Labor Day special, hmm, since 2016 and we're in 2022 and I've been looking for it. Um, plan a fitness vacation because when you get that body snatched, that's like a nice reward to yourself. And when you take the photos, oh my goodness, that's a great reward. And that's, that's going to be in one of my episodes probably about episode 12 and keep a photo journal of yourself that way you can make a video of your transformation if you look in the description box you you can see my transformation video and the reason why i say uh keep pictures and make a video of yourself because there's going to be times where you're not going to feel like working out and when i play that video that's what keeps me motivated. And you have to have a strong why. As I mentioned in the previous um, episode, my mother died at age 49 to breast cancer. So fitness and diet is totally important to me. My why is I want to prevent diseases and illnesses. And I want to have my mobility and be like my dad. 80 years old and on a Zoom call yesterday in his own house, in his right frame of mind, walking around and just taking care of himself on his own. He has his independence and that's what I want. I want to be 80 with my own independence without anyone having to take care of me. So that's my why. So keep a journal. Keep a video journal. I look forward to seeing your transformation. And also in the description box is the heat challenge. It's PRX. It's um, key to health. I gave you three fitness um, links that you can try and see which one resonates with you and to see which one you like and which one is for you. All three of them are amazing and they're all phenomenal and they work. Oh, am I doing good on time? Yes. So stay strong. I look forward to seeing you in episode six. We will talk about injuries, 
illnesses, menopause, and surgeries. Bye-bye.